Hey everyone, I'm Keisha Charmaine and I'm back here to show you all a lock style tutorial. So I just showed you guys how my locks are past my hip length and I managed to make them neck length with lock knots. I haven't done lock knots on my channel in a very, very long time. Actually, have I ever? I'm sure I have, but I'm sure it's been years. So I'm showing you guys how I did it now and my hair is freshly washed however it took me hours to do so it has been drying out in the process so I rehydrate my hair with the rose water moisturizer available on KishaCharmaine.com exclusively and then I grab my lock I find the length that I want it to sit at and that is where I fold it and start to wrap so I am wrapping my lock firmly and tightly upwards and then once I get close to the root I start going back down and I don't want to get too close to the root because I don't want it to be too tight or else it can get painful so I leave about maybe a centimeter of like new growth at the root and then I tuck the end in too close man <laughs> shout out to you if you know that reference um De Chappelle show <laughs> but yeah so I see how I hold the lock where I want it to sit and then I keep my finger in the loop it's not necessary to keep the finger in the loop but what that does is I, it helps me to hold it nice and taut so that I as I wrap it around it's really firm and tight and that's important when it comes to doing um pre-curl styles now obviously this style is a style on its own but i do want it to be curly when i take it down and that's a, an important tip that a lot of people forget when you're when you want curls you have to wrap your locks tightly and that's pretty much the case when it comes to achieving curls regardless of what kind of hair you have you want it to be tight or else when you let when you take the roller out or what have you it won't be a lasting curl if it even forms a curl at all so anyway so I wrap the lock up once I get about a centimeter from my scalp then I start wrapping down and sometimes I have to like overlap my lock a bit because my hair is long and I you know I want these particular locks to sit as bangs so they're kind of short so I do have to overlap a little bit but then I stick the end in the little loop that I held onto earlier and that's it I think that made a lot of sense right but I'm gonna show you another time And if you're curious about what kind of curl this achieves, it achieves a very tight curl similar to pipe cleaner curls, except um, because you're not, you know, wrapping your lock onto any sort of tool, you're wrapping it onto itself, you will have a few inches of straight hair at the roots. Remember how I measured out up until my eyebrows That's, and then I folded it up, all that part from the scalp to my eyebrow that part is remaining straight so that's something to keep in mind and I'll have the takedown reveal in a couple of weeks when I do take the knots out but I, I'm trying to keep the knots in for a couple of weeks but yeah this style it takes so long I'm gonna keep it in as long as I can and here's the final result I love creating short lock styles it helps me to keep having fun with my locks. You know, I've had my locks for almost 12 years now, and you know, sometimes I'll be wanting to cut it. Even, I, I don't necessarily want to cut it this short, but sometimes I want to cut several inches off. But just knowing that I have style options that can make my locks appear shorter, it really comes in handy, and it really makes me appreciate the versatility of locks, and it really helps me appreciate, you know, that they, that I can do my own locks, that I can, you know, switch it up when I want. 
and um, I really don't like hair on, in my face like that <laughs> um, although it's cute the little bangs is cute but I'm gonna put this headband on for now to keep the hair off my face and this reminds me of how I used to look a lot in my early journey I used to just wear my headbands my locks were nice and thick as they were forming and I feel like I, I'm channeling 19 year old Keisha <laughs> Make sure you follow me on Instagram at Keisha Charmaine and check out KeishaCharmaine.com for all of your lock needs. Thank you so much for watching Love, Light, and Locks. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up and remember to subscribe. You can always visit www.KeishaCharmaine.com for hair growth products, hair accessories, and more. But don't leave just yet. Check out my featured video and my latest video.